my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my very first monthly favorites video. I've wanted to film a monthly favorites video for a really long time, like a really long time. I just never got around to it and even when I did, I don't know, sometimes it just felt really like forced almost, if that makes sense. So, but I would like to also look back and see what we were into at that point or what I was into or what worked or different things that I tried. So I figured what better way than to just go ahead and do it. So this favorites video is going to contain a wide variety of things. It's gonna have a lot of lifestyle things, stuff that I use every day, like the my favorite laundry soap right now, because I would also like to see on a more kind of smaller scale favorite stuff. So a lot of the favorites video that I watch, I don't know about you guys, but a lot of the favorites video that I watch, favorites videos that I watch, um, have a lot of like higher end stuff or stuff that I don't feel like maybe they use every day. They're just kind of throwing it in there because it's this paid sponsorship. I would like to see more like everyday stuff, like smaller stuff, like when I want a new type of laundry detergent because mine's not working or somebody's favorite like house cleaning products. That's the kind of stuff that I would like to see in a favorites video. So that's the kind of stuff that I want to put in my favorites video because it might just help me find other videos that are like that too. So to kick us off, I'm going to start off with my Erin Condren planner. If you guys have followed me for any length of time or if you guys know me personally, <laughs> You know that I am a huge Erin Condren fan. I've been using the planners for about five years now. And for me, it just really helps with my anxiety. I like being able to get stuff down on paper and it kind of helps clear my mind a little bit and helps me just kind of, uh, helps me focus things a little bit more, helps keep me on track with where I wanna be or what I need to get done, or it helps me plan also so I don't get so anxious about stuff because I know it's coming. And I have a plan for the few days before it to kind of take care of it, if that makes sense. So obviously my very first favorite is gonna be my Erin Condren planner. This is my, look at that cover, oh my gosh. It's the rose gold foil, it's gorgeous. So this is my 2017-2018 planner. Um, it does go up to, December and I did tell myself that I was gonna stick with this through December and not waste it But obviously that was a lie Because I bought a new planner, but I did get smart and you would think with how long I've been using this I would have done this before I did get smart and I ordered this one for July through July or June I did the July to June option so that way when I buy a new I can buy a new planner at launch and Not completely waste like six months of the old planner so Erin Condren Planner, absolute favorite thing. I literally use this every day. If I'm not writing it every day that I'm spending, you know, an hour or two getting caught up, this is my me time. I know for a lot of people it looks different. This is my me time. This is for me to sit down at my desk and just plan and kind of get everything out of my head and get it down onto paper. So along with that, I'll just give you guys a look at one of the weeklies. So this is kind of how I've been planning. It's a little bit of white space, but also a lot of stickers. And it's just kind of, like I said, keeping track of everything. A lot of times I end up more memory keeping than planning. Like I'll go through and write down big stuff. So I like to pre-plan ahead too. When I don't have anything to write down, I lay down stickers for upcoming weeks. So like for this one, I, I think I'm actually planned through June, maybe some of July. Actually, I'll show you guys that one because I went into my new planner. I really wanted to use it and I really wanted to lay down stickers but obviously it's super early, so I did just lay down stickers. Like, I'll lay down my base stickers. So this is what a base week looks like for me, and then I'll go in and add all of my daily stuff. So I'll go through and add like paydays and big stuff that I know is coming, but then a lot of times I'll end up going back the day of or the day after or something like that and writing down what actually happened. Um, so this is all-time favorite thing right now. It's just probably always will be. I have spurts where I get out of it and I don't use it as often, but I always come back to it. So to follow up with that, my second favorite is gonna be the new planner folio. If you guys, so our last name is Gautier and our nickname are the goats. That's why it says Lady Goat, just to clear that up. Um, so if you guys don't have the planner folio, you need to get it, it's amazing. It is so much better than the planner pouch. The planner pouch, I feel like even with just my planner was always stuffed and then I never had room for anything else. So the planner folio is kind of the new planner pouch. So it's got a zipper the whole way around. Oops, there's sticky notes in there. And then when you open it up, it's got pockets 
which is really awesome. A pen holder. I put all of my stickers in here, like my weekly sticker kits. It's got little two little pockets down here for pens. And then the actual planner portion is an elastic band. So you can see this one is pretty thick. I'll show you guys this one. This is my current planner. This is the new planner. So this one's pretty thick because it's got almost a year's worth of stickers in it. Actually, January, no, it's only got six months worth of stickers in it. So you can see all the stickers and it fits perfectly. And just like that, the zipper, I will say that I feel like they should have made it a little bit wider, but it stretches enough that you can still zip it up. And then everything's right in here. I can throw this into my bag and go. So like I said, if you don't have the planner folio, I highly suggest it, especially if you take your planner anywhere with you, you'll want something to carry it in and then you can kind of house everything in the same spot. And staying on track with all the planner goodies, the Erin Condren colorful dual tip, dual, dual tip, dual tip markers. You can see my little fox and cactus sticker I threw on there. Um, I love these, but I also hate them. They write really well on the paper. I do like that they're dual ended so I can use the medium or the fine tip point depending on what I wanna use it for. But some of the colors in this one, especially the black, I feel like it ran out really fast, which is why I went and bought this one that just has the blue, red, and black because the black in this one went out really fast. Um, it could have just been the marker. It could have just been like that specific marker, but I was just writing with it and it looked faded already. And for only having it a couple of months, I don't feel like it should have been faded already. So that kind of, oh, just kidding. One more thing, I got my very first pen gems order. This is the Pen Gems. I forget the name of it, but I'll link it in the description box. I really like it. It's basically just a ballpoint pen, but I like that it's prettier and it works out really well for like planner spread photos. I did get this one and then I got a, like a pink multicolored one. The only thing I don't like about these though is they're really hard to buy. The website sells out in like seconds and I can't get into the buy sell trade page. So I love the pen but I don't know that I'd purchase anymore. I'll probably do a review on those later, but I do love the pen. It's really pretty, um, so I do like it. The next favorite I have is my Luna Lovegood bag. This is from a store we have here called Box Lunch. I know they sold it in other places. This is a collab with Daniel Nicole. I had to check the name. This is a collab with Daniel Nicole. She made like a little line, so there is a wallet and a backpack also, and then I got this size bag for Mother's Day. I like to carry just this sometimes. So if I'm carrying a bag to a meeting, like a 31 bag, I put my wallet and my phone and maybe like my pens in here. And then normally my planner will go in the bag and then I have everything I need right here. So it's a really beautiful like rose gold color. And it's just a favorite of mine right now. So moving on to kind of like personal stuff. So the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is these earrings. They are from Stella and Dot and they're called ear climbers. And I'll take this one out and show you. Um, I really like these because they're black um, and that's kind of almost the only reason they're called hem hem hermitite ear climbers. I'll link them in the description below too. My friend Nikki um, sells Stella and Dot and she got me hooked on most of their stuff. So I really like them because they're black so they go with a lot of stuff that I have and I feel like they're kind of dressier because of like the gem kind of look to it and like the sparkliness but they're not too dressy to the point that I won't wear them with like just a t-shirt and jean shorts. So these are my go-to earrings. I wear these just about every day. Um, they're really easy to pop in and then half the time I forget that they're there. And I just really like the climber look. Um, yeah, so I really, really love those. And then one other thing, if you guys know me, you know I have a cup obsession. I, I was using Hydro Flask for a really long time, but the thing that upset me with the Hydro Flask cups is that the lid didn't close. It had kind of like the open mouth lid and we don't have a coffee table, we have an ottoman because we had younger kids and we didn't want them running into a coffee table and we don't have end tables because our couch backs are really high. So we don't really have anywhere to set drinks when we're in the living room. So a lot of times we would end up setting them like down on the floor beside the couch. It would get knocked over all the time and I used to drink meal in my water. I stopped as of yesterday because it's expensive and it stains and I'm worried about what that's doing to my internal organs. So. Now I drink regular water, but I was drinking meal water and I was drinking orange tangerine. So it was really, really like orange. And like I said, it would stain like countertops and stuff. So it would spill on the carpet and then the carpet would get all gross. So I wanted a cup that closed. So I ended up got buying a Yeti because our shop at like our little military um, convenience store on base had them and it was only like $26, which is expensive for a cup. I know, but 
I am like a one cup gal. Like I carry this cup everywhere. I'll wash it out and then I'll refill it. And I don't really carry anything else. Everything goes in here except for coffee. So I'll have a coffee cup and a water cup, but this is like my go-to cup. So we don't have a ton of cups in our house and I kind of have a couple that I stick with. So it used to be the Hydro Flask. I got rid of those and now I just carry the Yeti. I did end up getting a straw lid because I just drink more water with a straw. I don't know if you guys are the same. I have really sensitive teeth and I put ice in my water because I don't like warm water. So for me, I just drink more with the straw. I do like the other lid though because it was a it was a slide close so the lid would actually close and it didn't, it leaked a tiny little bit but it was like trickles. So it didn't really leak which was super helpful. So this is my saving grace. I kind of want the coral one but I have a friend that's doing me a custom glitter one. I think it's just the Ozark cup though. I don't know if it's the Yeti but she's making me a custom glitter one. So then I'll have the mint and the custom glitter. Super excited. I love all things glittery. So now kind of moving into household stuff. This is some of my really, 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 really big favorite products right now for household type things, just because I feel like they're amazing and they work and I have been searching for a really long time to find something that works and I finally found stuff. So my absolute, absolute favorite laundry detergent right now is the Tide Ultra Oxy. I get it from Target. This one's open because we've been using it. Absolutely love this. It smells amazing. We went through, I swear to you, like 12 different detergents trying to find one that would work. My husband has PT three days a week. He sweats and he gets stinky because he's a stinky dude. And I couldn't find anything that would get the lingering scent out of his workout clothes or even his work clothes when he would wear them sometimes. And then a friend recommended this to me and it is amazing. Like it, I swear it takes out every stain. The clothes don't smell bad. Even the kids' clothes from like being stained from outside playing, it gets everything out. I do this and then I also pair it with the um, 20 Mule Borax. I guess it's called just 20 Mule team, just Borax, laundry detergent booster. I do a cup of this and then the recommended um, amount for the Tide and our laundry smells so good you guys i'm not even joking it smells good there's no stains the colors are a little bit brighter like i cannot recommend that enough you need to check it out it's amazing and then my last favorite product but probably my most favorite i'm going to slide over a little bit so you can see it and you can't really see it because it's so tall. So my Bissell Crosswave, it has been a saving grace for these base housing floors. You can see here kind of like the white linoleum floors that we have, they get gross. They strip the wax when people move out and a lot of times don't end up rewaxing it or miss spots when they rewax or they rewax like hair into the wax, it's gross. So this is the only thing that I have found that has been able to keep the floors even looking decent. I run it every day. I do need to do like a deep clean on the floors again because I don't feel like this is for deep cleaning, but it does keep them clean. It gets all the dirt off the floor. And the thing that's great about this one is that it also vacuums while you're cleaning. So it's running the spin brush and the detergent to clean, but it's also vacuuming up all the stuff off the floor. So the water does get gross, but it is amazing. It, like I said, I run it every day. So we finally got the Crosswave. We have a um, military housing, kind of cleaning group, um, not just cleaning, like for decorating and stuff like that. It's for people that live in military housing and they go through these periods where they like rave about one specific product and everybody jumps on the bandwagon and that's how I ended up with the Hoover floor mate. So I was really nervous to get this because I was like, man, the floor mate was cool at first, but then it just didn't work out. You know, I don't want to spend the money on this cause this is, this is expensive. I think we paid like 160 for this. Um, I didn't want to jump on the bandwagon and it not work out, but I absolutely love it and I highly recommend it. If you have linoleum floors or even hardwood floors, it works on um, area rugs too. As long as the rug isn't too thick, we have a couple of like entryway rugs that are just too thick and it doesn't work on it. But like our thinner rugs and our kitchen rugs, you can run it, you can just switch it. There's two little buttons on the top and you just switch it and run it for um, carpet or I think it says rugs and it'll clean the area rugs too, like really quickly so you don't have to dig out the carpet shampooer. And that's gonna do it for my favorites video. I was gonna talk about some books that I've read, but I think I'm gonna do a completely separate video on that because I have been reading a lot. So that's gonna do it for this one. Any products that I mentioned that I can link below, I did. 
It, I also have an Erin Condren link down there if you want to try out your first planner. It's $10 off your first order if you use the referral link. I just, like I said, it just, it really helps me and I love it. And I know like a lot of people use the Target planners too and those are great. I actually have one of those for our spouse's club stuff. So definitely um, check it out if you're looking for a new planner or, you know, just try out a planner in general and, and see if it works out for you. So anything that I could link, I did. I've gone on to some websites also and linked like the Yeti cup, but I wouldn't buy it through the website just because it's a little more expensive. You could probably find some stores that carry it that might be a little bit cheaper or might have like a coupon. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe below, please. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.